Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to do water cancer, Scorpio Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio Cancer, however we want to do this. Um, I will let you know that the push is now available. The, if you are part of the Patreon crew, thank you, thank you. It is uploaded. Um, if you'd like to purchase it, you can go to the donation link below. Hit the donation, again, hit the donation link. It, um, I believe it says to benefit our channel. You put in your donation there, and I will send it to you if you do not get it within 20 minutes. Um, please e re email me. It is my job. Okay? So, weekend energy, we're going to go July 10th to the 13th. I don't know why it's taking us to Monday, but it is, okay? And this is going to be for water element. Water, water, skin, 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 And I will be at you at some point. I, um, I wanted to do it this way because these cards are beautiful and um, I wanted you to see them. Okay? So, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Bottom of the deck is kind of what's coming at you or leaving you, which is the Five of Pence, which would be lovely, lovely. So, you got the world. You got the whole world in your hands. Ooh. Six of Pence. <clears throat> <clears throat> Page of Pants, <clears throat> Seven of Swords, Wowzers, Wowzers. Okay. I don't know if there's. Oh man, you're feeling bogged down. It's almost like you want to take the new opportunity and. And run with it, right? It does look like there's a new opportunity. Like they're just you're just getting yourself out of a situation, freeing yourself, right? Um I still feel like there's some help that's needed, whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, um, I don't quite feel like that that harmony, that balance, that gift, whatever you're seeking, is quite there yet. We'll have to see what that is. Um, you might be more focused on deception or shady energy or somebody not being honest or completely what they want. <sighs> Could be something you could be working a lot this weekend too, but could be getting a new job offer or talking about work. This could be a, a synergetic energy. I'm just not quite sure yet because I don't know if you feel lonely or you're thinking about leaving something that no longer serves you, person, place, or thing. So tell me about the world, please. But the, that's also a big congratulations, okay? Could be tough, though. So you got the Page of Swords. So it's a new idea, a new plan, a new project. Someone could be watching you. You could be watching them, you know, stalking, that type of stuff. Not not anything to, to worry about by any means. Um, it's, it's thoughts, though. Okay, and you got the Hierophant with the Six of Pence. So, could it be speaking of a Taurus type energy? Possibly. There could be a re relationship. This could be a spiritual factor going on here. Could be a boss. This could actually be a gift of money, work. But then you still got all this going up on up there. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune. So something could go in, in your direction here. It could, there could be some luck, like no longer being stuck, all right? But it's one of those things where you got to use your wisdom to move forward. And you're probably moving forward blindly. But it looks like it would be a good opportunity. Seven of Swords. With the Two of Cups. So... 
I don't know if this is a partnership, work partnership, a lover situationship, but there is something shady or something you're not seeing. Or you might possibly sabotage a, a situation. Looks like something's going to go in your favor, whether it's work or some type of commitment, a small commitment, but some type of commitment working towards something. This actually does look like a gift. So somebody who could have been interested in your work could be watching and is, and is ready to offer something. Or this is already you having a new job and it's, it's a new idea. Some of you will meet this situation and might think it's shady over the weekend. It could be a work lunch, a gathering, and then it's like, eh, something doesn't feel right. Because you, it's kind of lonely energy, too. Especially with the Five of Pence being here. See if we can get to the bottom of this. This one's a little trickier than I was expecting. I want to see what this is first the Six of Pence and the Hierophant, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I want to see if this is a gift or if this is more. Uh, you're looking at something like synergy or balance. What's this Six of Pence? Because that could be a spiritual gift. The Six of Pence is a gift. Read together like that. But it could be trying to find a balance within a relationship too. Love, work, finances, endings. It's like a whole lot of stuff going on here. And the world is looking right up at the five pence, so it could be the end of money issues, the end of feeling lonely. Okay, you got hammer. So sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive energy, working on it. So you could be working on a relationship. And again, it could be sabotage. So <laughs> it's like the answer I was looking for is is still up in the air. Okay, so but you again you could be re rebuilding something starting fresh and a new cycle okay somebody's realizing it you know you guys could just be working on it staying persistent not not giving up like i said like somebody doesn't want to necessarily give up whether it's a big commitment or a little commitment you know but you could actually sabotage this or they can because what if they're what if they're not using that wisdom that they need to be using and they're trying to make a decision blindly i i don't ever look at the wheel like that though okay this this looks more positive than than anything so i'm not really trying to look at it that way um because i i do feel like this is fortunate energy so tell me about this page of pence please page of pence and the wheel of fortune because you do that repeti rep repetitive, um, that word, repetitive energy, repetitive, you know what I mean? So, and the wheel's here, so you got to be careful. Like, don't get sucked into anything, like, especially if something's already over, it's, it's over. Maybe you want it to be over and someone's going to come at you and like, oh, but I want this and I want that. Maybe you got to be like, frig that. You know, because the wheel is here. It can go either way. What is this page of pence? That's why I want to find out if it's a legitimate offer or not. Some of you really got to nail the hammer the nail into the coffin and others of you, it's, it's could be a new opportunity getting yourself out of a situation and moving forward and whatever the gift is you know think positive <clears throat> so you got wedding ring and soulmate so it says a union a wedding a marriage a soul contract eternal love everlasting promise 
And with soulmates, you got a soul connection part partnership agreement, soul contract. So I'm not saying someone's going to put a ring on your finger like today by any means because this is a small offer. But somebody doesn't want to lose you or you don't want to lose somebody. So like I said, I do feel like that's, I do feel like that's pos positive. So I feel like with this situation with the Six of Pence and the Hierophant, I feel like this is more rebuilding. Okay, you're working on something, going towards something. So that's that's good. Now here, with whatever connection this is, again, I, I don't know if you're like, do I leave a situation, do I not? Or am I just feeling lonely? Am I just feeling left out? Is someone not talking to you about something? You know what I mean? Because it, it's almost like, I don't know if you see this or feel this. Because I wouldn't have questioned it if, if you saw it or felt it, right? So it could be a surprise, too. Seven of Swords is not always bad, okay? So <clears throat> what is this energy over here? So somebody's, you know, watching you, vice versa, checking on you. Maybe they're worried. Five of Pence sometimes is, is energy of being worried, what is this Seven of Swords energy and this Two of Cups? I mean, the deception of lies could be over and done with. Like, something's wrapping up this weekend. Maybe somebody gets left out of a situation. Maybe there's too much drama cutting people out of a situation. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't feel like that's sabotage unless there's an energy that's not seeing something. That's too many. Seven of Swords, please. Got a photograph looking at your photos, missing your nostalgia, making new memories. So it's to me, it feels more like a possible loss. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, could be watching, looking. Okay. Um, so maybe you just miss somebody this weekend. But at the same time, yeah, you're making new memories, okay? So this could just be nerves. You know what I mean? Jelly beans, I'm not taking anything really negative from that. It just could be, you know, just feeling a little conflicted when it comes to something. But it's, let me see what I get real quick with this. Two of Cups, please. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So someone is going to feel stabbed in the back because there is no energy here. Okay, so it, it is an ending. All right. Um, it looks like somebody new stepped in. You might possibly know this person considering you're rebuilding. So you might have already tried and now somebody wants to come back in and try again or you're already working on it. Because there's something new here. There's a new cycle with a new person, a new job, a new commitment, new something. All right. Is this particular energy having a little bit of a hard time? Yeah, because it actually looks like they need to leave a situation needs to be wrapped up right so but at the same time making new memories and and that's a given because that's upright okay so or this is a message for you regarding this person if they're wrapping up something from their past you know it is over and you chances are you you're about to make new memories okay I do feel like this is the energy of someone you're probably dealing with that's that's missing an energy here, something that's over, even though they have this. And, and don't take that wrong. I know some people might be like, oh my God, like eh, I don't want them thinking about X, Y, Z, but you know what? It's, it's an ending and how can you not, right? So I so say definitely have some patience with what this is regarding because it, it is an ending. 
it's starting with an ending, right? There's trying to fix this, trying not to sabotage it, trying to work on it. Somebody knows there's something right in front of them. Okay, so could there be a new Two of Cups? Possibly. Or this is just that old relationship that's over that's trying to find some type of balance and work on things in a different way. Because there, there's somebody new in the picture, so whatever this is, is over. Okay, trying to figure out something. Because I feel like this is extremely positive. This page of pens. Tell me what this page of pens is in the Wheel of Fortune. So, it looks like somebody new probably stepped into somebody's life and, you know, it's, it's not always <clears throat> easy letting go. That's way too many. Yeah, so it's like a decision with the Ten of Cups or family or work. But like I said, new soul contract, something's working out, working its way out for something new to come in. Okay. So, hang in there. Others of you... If there's nobody in your life, you really need to consider, like, why? Are you stuck on something? Are you stuck on somebody else? I chose somebody else. I, what are you doing? Because the universe wants the wheel to go in your direction, too. So if that's the case, you got new opportunities coming in. Don't sabotage it. All right, y'all. Have a fantastic weekend. And don't... If this isn't your energy and someone you're dealing with, don't worry about, just worry about you right now and let what needs to be wrapped up, wrapped up. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.